What's up, soldiers? Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Today, we're doing some slowly braised beef short ribs in the oven. You know, there's a couple steps involved. First, you do it on the stovetop, then in the oven. Third step, enjoy one of the most comforting ways to enjoy beef short ribs. Got about four and a half to five pounds of beef short rib there. They've been washed and pat dry. And I'm gonna go on with sea salt. And I'll move them around as I do this because you really want to season them properly. <laughs> season, listen to me. A Caribbean guy call it salt and black pepper season. <laughs> They're gonna take back my passport. Oh Jesus. Uh, black pepper. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Don't worry people. We have some herbs and niceness going on here later. <laughs> yeah, I've got my nice Dutch oven. They're steel, so it can go into the oven. We'll be finishing this off in the oven. Well, for the most part, it's going to be done in the oven. Oven preheating to 350 degrees. In goes olive oil. You want a couple tablespoons of that. Now, if you wanted to, to dust, the short ribs and a tiny bit of flour, you can certainly do that. It would help give you that nice thick gravy later on. But we have a trick up our sleeves for a thick gravy. The second thing is you'll notice I took off most of that silver skin that would have come on top there. So a nice sharp knife and you'll cut off all that silver skin because to be honest with you, that silver skin will not render down as we want it to. And we're not going to crowd a pan meat side down. That's the bone. And I'm just going to go in with four pieces and I've got four more pieces sitting there. We just want to brown it on, on all sides. So it'll take about two or three minutes on each side. And you notice I went on all three, all four sides basically. I couldn't get to the end here because that bone is going to be protruding. I just want to give it some color. We're not really trying to, you know, you will hear people talk about, oh, we sealing it. Technically, you're not sealing it. Technically, all you're trying to do is develop that Maillard reaction on the bottom there. And that's where that fond is going to develop and you're going to get all that nice flavor. So the second batch is going in now. Remember your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Yeah, in case if you're wondering, there's nothing terrific about this dish. This is just something I like making at home. You know, you have some nice mashed potato or some mashed carrot, um, cassava or something like that. And you rock this, you know, it's one of them kind of things you low and slow, you put in the oven and boom, bam, you do your thing. So this won't show up on CaribbeanPot.com, but you know you guys can enjoy it here the video for it. I'm gonna turn my heat down to low, and there's a bit too much fat in there. So what I'm gonna do is tip the pot. Notice all that fat? We ain't trying to have that in our life. And I'm just gonna set it aside in a glass to go into the garbage once it cools down. You're not trying to put that down the sink. That will cause the plumber to get work. And as I dry go over season, we're not trying to pay no plumber to pass through. So we took off two-thirds of the fat because quite a bit of fat would have rendered from that beef there. Heat on low and here is where we're going to go with all the flavor ingredients now and that is courtesy of a large onion. Let it rain. I've got three cloves of garlic. You can see them here. The chicken packs. Smash. I've got the two pimento peppers. I am from Trinidad and Tobago, the capital of heaven. We like using pimento peppers. No heat, ton of flavor, you can't get that. I mean, they say there's nothing I can do. Just leave it out, I'm just kidding, all right? I ain't trying to get a little heat, you know, kind of thing like that. A quick little stir. The heat on low because we're just trying to burn the onion, or the garlic, or the pepper. And that seasoned pepper, aka pimento pepper, it is not all spice berries or, or what our Jamaican cousins call pimento. This is just a seasoned pepper. No heat, ton of flavor. Your favorite Caribbean or West Indian store will have that. Now for some more. This time we're doing fresh ground black pepper. Give that another little quick stir. And we want that to soften up and start releasing all that lovely flavor. One of the things I like doing is adding some button mushrooms to this. So here we go. I've got some mushrooms and I wash my own mushrooms. Listen, I see where mushrooms grow and I ain't trying to have all that nasty dirt all over my food. Yeah, if Gordon wants to dust his mushroom with a little brush 
and cook with it, that's fine. I ain't hating on Gordon and them, you know, because that man just cuts like crazy, boy. I ain't trying to be on his back side. But I'm going to turn my heat up now to medium low, just to waken up everything else. Just a little bit more to help develop that rich color and to help thicken the gravy later on. What we got to do is some tomato paste. And I've got two tablespoons of that tomato paste. And we want that to make contact with the bottom of the pot. It's all about developing that lovely flavor. As I mentioned earlier, see that down there? Boy, that is the real thing right there. So move that around, move that around, and we're gonna deglaze it. And most people would deglaze with their favorite red wine. Nah, I'm on different. I'm on as a port kind of man, so I go in with port. Yeah, high pollutant like that, you know, for whoosh. And by allowing that tomato to make contact directly with the pot there, it's gonna bring out the sweetness in the tomato. Now we're trying to burn it there, we're almost close to burning there, so let's check the pot. There's gonna be hot spots in your pot, on your stove. That's just natural. Now, like I said, we're rocking some port. And I want about a two thirds of a cup of port in there. And here's where we're gonna scrape and scrape and we're using a wooden spoon eh? Well, let's see, Chris ain't using metal these days, you know. No, wood. I make that in the back. <laughs> nah, I didn't make that. That lighting, man. What's wrong with he, boy? Now, if you're worried that alcohol is gonna burn out for the most part, but what it's gonna leave us with is a lot of lovely flavor in there. So we're just gonna give it another two minutes or so, just to make sure everything burns out and it's going in the oven it's going to cook in there for about two and a half almost three hours so don't fret if you want the alcohol in there um i mean let's say it's gonna it's gonna burn out you'll need more liquid than what we added there because we gotta braise this and braising means we gotta add liquid so here's where i'm going in with some beef stock and we're just gonna scrape the bottom we're gonna move everything around like so, we're gonna turn up the heat now because once we bring it up to temperature here and boiling, then we're gonna place the lid. You need something that's oven proof and that has a lid, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna stick it in the oven and let's go two and a half to three hours until everything is nice and tender. Then all we're gonna do, we're gonna take those pieces of short ribs and tuck them down. You wanna do meat side down, let the bone be up for the most part because the, the whole idea here is to get it nice and tender in that lovely little bath that we got going on here for it. So all kind of nice juices and everything now. The plate where, or whatever container you had, where after you browned it, you had the meat sitting in. We need all that juice in there as well too. We'll need some salt now. That beef stock that you use will have a ton of salt in it already. So just a bit more salt. We need some fresh thyme. We'll need a couple bay leaves. You know you got to have that bay leaf in there as well too. Kush. We're getting on today, boy. Four bay leaf made its way in there, but it's small, so don't 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 fret too much about that, you know. And you know one of the things I like adding is some golden brown sugar. Just to balance off that tomato. So in case that tomato paste was a bit tart that's gonna help balance off that flavor there you notice we're just tucking it down we don't want too much liquid in there in the oven it will spring up some more juices and we ain't trying to make soup you know we're trying to make a nice little braised little uh, beef ribs we almost forgot one final thing you know you're cleaning out the fridge at the same time so hey toss some carrots in there that's gonna add some body and texture and everything else to the mix you notice we got blub blubs happening on the sides there we're almost there we just got to put the lid on into the oven but before we do, I just want to give that, I want to tuck that thyme down inside there because that thyme will be a ton of flavor and that is our seasoning. We got that kind of niceness in there, man. Just look at that. So that's going to go into the oven now. Like so, nice, big, heavy. Make sure it's oven proof, people. We ain't trying to start fires and all kind of thing like that. Into the oven, the middle of, the middle of it, you know, the middle rack. And let that go for about two hours. After two hours, we'll check it and then we'll decide if it needs further cooking. We want that nice and tender. Yo, it's just niceness, yeah? Two hours and 45 minutes later, and everything has reduced down. Let's look at that niceness there. Everything is nice and tender. What you want to do, though, is sort of tip the pot, and you'll notice 
at the very top here there's a lot of fat we want to get rid of that as well as well that is not healthy for you so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of that fat the meat is falling off the bone and to further help with cutting back on some of that fat I like to go in with some chopped parsley now you would have tasted for salt you would make sure that is nice and tender this thing is falling apart so I'm trying to be gentle with it a little bit of lemon zest that lemon zest will help to cut back some of that fat so it's not so vulgar on your taste buds Chris here CaribbeanPot.com always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me we braised some beef short ribs in the oven nothing Caribbean as I said but hey you gotta appreciate good food when it's good food you know what I mean always a pleasure Irene Irene what's up soldiers don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe hit that bell notification thing I want to all you missing out on the new videos man come on click